Ooh, what's going on? Man, let's do this. Trial former. I hate that, like, it's a trial former and a trial lighter. This shit takes way too long. I am gonna try and do both today. I usually do one and then I do the other like the next day, but I'm gonna try and do both in one sitting. It's gonna take me like four hours, but I'll do it. I got coffee, I'm ready. There's more in the uh, pot. Let's go, Let, let's, let's find our, our suspect. Let's catch him. Let's put Ga Damon Gant in handcuffs. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Because I already know it's him. Naturally, it's not, though. Just because that's how this shit goes. Always. February 25th, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. This is the Defendant Lobby, all right. But there's no Defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if... Something's been happening behind the scenes. Whoa! Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777777 ID number is, that is. I think I was one over. Well... I have a pretty strong hunch. Can't! Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. Uh, he's basically saying, like, you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my glasses, hold on. This soundtrack is heat. Like, I really hope it's either the same or like, I don't know, as good as the second game. We'll see. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. Not yet! Ugh, it's early. My voice cracks. Just... In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. Five minutes right, and Chief Prosecutor Skye will be found guilty. But she didn't do it. I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. That's the uh, today's the last day of the trial. I need to like reposition myself. I can't read. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. Ugh. <laughs> he said, "Oh, if she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened." I'll think about it. See you in court, right? Do 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 do. Those guards are the real ones. All they do is stand there. They never leave their post, ever. This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gant has on her, it's now. Where are my defendants, though? I can't just enter the courtroom without, like, the people. I'm just a attorney. <laughs> Who am I defending? Yeah. Mental preparation for all these voices. Especially this man. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Skye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Question mark? But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Of course he does. Yeah, he knows. He knows we're onto him. He was, like, big... Big upset when, like, <laughs> I wonder if he knew we opened his. Okay, yeah. Okay, recap. Recap. Oh, oh my God! It was a. I didn't even edit the previous investigation video. I'm just. I like reviewed the raw footage really quick, and just kind of got some key points. So Neil Marshall was killed by Joe Dark in the 
like, prosecutor's office? Bruh. Was, was it the prosecutor's office or like the... Their office. Law's office. Uh... It was rainy. They're, they're saying he stabbed Neil Marshall in the back, but then they showed that picture of Neil Marshall laying on Joe Dark like that? I don't know what that's all about. Emma's a witness because she was waiting for Lana. I don't think Lana was there necessarily. So Joe Dark came running up and tried to kill Emma. Neil, Mar Neil Marshall stopped him. They got into a scuffle. Emma, like, burned a picture into her brain. She drew it on the back of an evidence list from the SL9 incident. The vase was complete. We found that piece and a piece of cloth, leather cloth, um, in Chief Gant's safe. The leather cloth having Emma Sky's fingerprints on it, to my surprise. I have no idea how the the blood on the vase is gonna come into play, but it will. You already know. Chief Gant is a dirty blackmailing bitch. He basically told Lana Sky, like, you do what I say, or you know, bad things will happen. So he tells her. I need you to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. He's gonna be in Miles Edgeworth's car on this day at this time. And she said, oh, okay. And that's when she found out kind of what he was trying to do. So she took the SL9 um, switchblade knife that was in Goodman, took it out, wrapped it in her scarf, her red scarf, and stuffed it in the muffler, right? And then she took Edgeworth's knife and stabbed Edward, or uh, Goodman with it, and that's when Angel Star saw that, took pictures. And then, I guess, she went and called Jake Marshall? Like, because there's blood on the phone, so I assume that's how she called Jake, but she called Emma from her cell phone. And I'm big confused. <laughs> Something about, like, the, the uh, prosecutor's trophy as well, not having the halberd. Let's go. Okay, I, I got key points, as you can tell. I'm gonna forget something, naturally. It'll come up. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, AJ, you been back to the pool yet, huh? No, I I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? <laughs> He's so creepy. Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. Bullshit. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. Alright, Lana, what do you have to say? What's, what's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like to put an immediate end to this trial. <sighs> I would be- I wouldn't mind, to be honest. Huh? It's been a while since we got one of those. I confess to all charges against me. Never mind. No! No! That's wrong. All of a sudden, my attorney instincts kicked in. No. Objection. It's false. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No. Lana! Hey! Oh, it's he. You can't. Your Honor. The defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your su- But Lana! Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me, but it has sufficiently proven it, its case thorough through my testimony and circumstantial evidence. Okay, God, I can't read. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Hmm. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. 
Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. I did not see this coming. It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. Ooh. One moment, Your Honor. M Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? He said, no, sir. No, sir. Hmm. I don't think I care for your tone. Chief can't. This dude's resigning anyway. That's right. I knew I forgot about something. <laughs> He's like, what are you going to do? Fire me? I already quit. What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. <laughs> Phoenix is like, what the f- <laughs> What? With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, worthy. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh, to whom? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. Ugh. I request the court hears her testimony. Oh, Lana said, hold it! Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care for what you think, Miss Skye. Oh. <laughs> the anime gasp. <gasps> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy. You'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. Edgeworth is Loki, like... <laughs> Loki. He's, like, evil... Until, like, he's actually needed. In which case, like, he'll he'll help you out. For, like, a greater good. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my, my name is Emma Skye. Or, uh, Emma, Emma Skye. My occupation, I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yai. Yes, it most certainly is. Well, okay then. He sure came in fast. Well, it's not like you could say anything otherwise. Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesterday has finally begun. Oh, the trip to yesteryear, what the hell? I've never heard that phrase before bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. The truth. I'm Tom Cruise up in this bitch, boy. All right, two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. 
Yeah, there's a drawing of that shit, too. That is wild. The man raised up his knife and... and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. False. <laughs> uh, objection. Uh, uh, uh... But <laughs> this is easy. Okay, so far. In the chest. That is dumb false. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. He's, re he's resigning. Easy. He doesn't care. He says all cards on the table. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I already know what to do. Two years ago. Cross-examine. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Break. Your Honor, what- Wait, what? Did I just mess up already? Wait, did I pick the wrong one? I felt dumb confident in that. I felt dumb- I- wait, oh wait, wait, did I pick the wrong one? I felt dumb confident in that. What did I just choose? And stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Stabbed in the back. Died from punctured heart and lung. A knife tip was found in the wound. Did I not just present this? Single stab wound piercing heart and lung. It says right there he was stabbed in the back, not in the chest. <laughs> okay, I'm dumb confused. Let's let's just press okay, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna lose up. It was my fault to uh save before I actually Okay, I'm just gonna press her. God I hate this. I thought it was simple. <laughs> I got excited. Okay. Emma, Emma, I don't mean to, but I, I need to press you, because obviously it's not that simple. Two years ago, the defendant was a detective at the police department, correct? Yes. She was second in command under then Deputy Chief of Police Gann. My sister. She was the best detective ever. I agree. Or yes, I remember. Deputy Chief Gant and Miss Scott used to be quite the pair. I believe they shared the same office. They do. That's right. I'd always sit at my sister's desk. Yep. And dream about playing that organ. I wanted to play it that day, too. The police department and the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Lana promised to take me to dinner after she finished for her work. Work! A man came running in and took me hostage. A man? Yes, Joe Dark. He was a... A serial killer. God, he's scary. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on that day of the ceremony. That ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. When he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Dark proceeded to take the elevator. You guys couldn't stop the elevator? He must have been in a panic because of the elevator was going up. Then, he ran into Sky and Gant's office. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I... I opened up the door to have a look. That's when I saw... him. That would be dumb scary. What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during Dark's questioning. Deputy Chief Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. I almost forgot about Gant. Neil Marshall had just received the King Prosecutor's Trophy Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. Oh, hell yeah. He's about that action. <laughs> Dressed like that? I assume that would also be why he was the first to run after Dark. He's about that action. We can tell. 
When Dart grabbed me, I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in? I... I don't clearly remember what happened then. But... Okay. But I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. What did you see? Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on Dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on, and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right. But just then, lightning flashed again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Ooh! Did I know that already? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hear more? What? So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago? Yes, that's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but at the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Oh, ask about the picture. Why would you ask? Why would you give me the option to stop? This picture, the wit this picture, the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. What are you talking about? But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Yeah, not yours. <laughs> My half. Witness, would you mind if we added this statement to your testimony? Y yes, Your Honor. Okay. I drew a picture that. B -b 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 Hold on. Do I have it? Yeah, I do. The shit says he was stabbed in the back. How, how is that not completely contradictory to what she says? Stabbed him in the chest. No. I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, okay, let it go, let it go. Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet, you would insist on denying its existence. Huh? Hey, I'm not the bad guy. All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold. This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident. Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over. Turn it. Ah! What's this? Dang! It's a picture. Boy! Yes, what is that? Hey! That's it! That's the picture I drew! She got boots on? Indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling here. Yeah, okay. Wrestling. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? <laughs> Why was I not told about this? <laughs> what are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh? These lists, they're... They're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. Incomplete or like a different set? Or is the same shit on both? Or what? These two lists fit together to form one. Okay, so they are different. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case ever reached you. 
What? What? Order, order. But Miss Sky, why did you draw your picture on the back of such an important list? <laughs> because that's what Detective Goodman handed me in the questioning room, Your Honor. Wow. Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. <laughs> what? I didn't even think that. My thought was like, Bruce Goodman tore it in half. He is dirty. <laughs> I was wrong. Yes, that's quite conceivable. Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. You just showed me the back. There's nothing there. I get it though, come on. Eminem. Mm. Is something wrong? Do we even have to ask? Oh, he is furious. He's gonna start banging. <laughs> I was gonna say he start. He's gonna start banging his head on the uh, the back thing like uh, Von Karma was doing. Sorry, Your Honor. There is indeed something drawn on the back of my list. It's that that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't escape this. It follows me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I see his face type shit. <laughs> oh my god. That, that's, that thing. That thing that was dancing in the evidence room. Clearly, this act of vandalism is the work of a certain chief of detectives. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Oh, it- oh, okay. I thought- it, I thought they made it seem like it was torn in half, like, vertically. Or, like, horizontally? I don't know. Hamburger hot dog style? Can this music please stop- okay, okay, okay. Very well. Witness, will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Huh? Oh, y yes, sir, your honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she was looking at that picture. Right? Why, if she drew that, no, no, no. Because if that was her, why would she draw it? Because the list that Edgeworth had was the one actually submitted. So did, no, because Goodman said he tore it in half. Or he just like tore it out and handed it to her. So let's keep going. Let's, let's keep going. Emma's picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago. Yeah, all right. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. Oh, wow. That was fast. To think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. It's a necessary evil. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Objection? <laughs> it's just silhouettes. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Emma's picture. Okay, okay. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um... I think I drew it two or three days after, or later. At first, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the investigation team was reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge, under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Scott. Two or three days later, 
the memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? She just said- Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I thought there was an actual question he was asking. So at the time, you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. Ooh. No, I, I couldn't see him clearly. This kind of changes my whole theory. But let's keep it going. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. Were you knocked to the floor, or did you faint? Like, you were knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. Okay. I turned around, and that's when I, that's when the lightning flashed. Poor Ebba. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have fainted. You mean, you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I... I'm sorry. Objection! Objection! That flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of a situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. Anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. Hold it. Okay. Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course. This is the exact scene. It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives. I gotta know. Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Wright? No, no, of course not. I better watch out or he might find some way to cut my salary. <laughs> Funny. Good one, good one. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well... That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was Im imprinted in her mind. And yet... There's clearly a contradiction here. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. God, I really hate when I don't know anything. Like... Let me look at my evidence, bro. Oh, it's put together now. Hold up. Um... What is he saying? There's clearly a contradiction here. What? I'm missing see like you see how sometimes I just do not get things. All I could see were shadows. After that I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. I'm lost. I already like earlier. I said this was gonna be easy, and I was wrong then. And now I'm now I can't even like. 
That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind, and yet there's clearly a contradiction here. Hold on. This is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in that moment. Let me review my evidence again. It has to be one of these last four. Because everything up until now is either, like, some old SL9 shit, or... This is so trash, like... What is it? <laughs> this is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. Is this not all one picture? No, because he tore it in half. Right, right, right. That's strange. She claims this, ex this is exactly the scene that was implemented in her mind, and yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. What is it? I'm not catching this. I'm so confused. Like, I just guessed that just because that was, like I said, that was literally the only other thing. Let's see, though. If, if I can kind of understand why it might be, but if it is, I'm going to be upset and I'll explain why. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew contains a blatant contradiction. What? But... But I still remember it, just like it was yesterday. Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? <laughs> I don't know! This? The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see its tip is broken. Whatever, okay, let's move on. Even I don't have to look closely to see that, Mr. Wright. But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken, too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. It was the conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. But if he hasn't stabbed him yet, why is the tip broken already? Uh, how are you not seeing that? I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Objection! And where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. Even though you said he was stabbed in the chest earlier! If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not be broken yet. Should not yet be broken. Ah! What's the meaning of this? Hey! Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right, but what does this mean? Jesus Christ. The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered correctly. 
I believe you were annoyed at that time, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Jesus Christ. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence? You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife tip might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. Jake Marshall did attest to this. He did say that the tip of the knife found inside Neil did not match correctly with the switchblade that they said it belonged to. And even I said so. If you look at that versus... Hold on. Versus this. This looks mighty thin. You know what I mean? Like, switchblades are thin. That knife looks very, like, thick and wide. You know what I mean? Or, like, just, just wide. For sure. I forgot about that. See? I said so. No, uh... Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. Okay. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. A. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Do Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. Gant. It even shows the switchblade right there, like... God, I'm stupid. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. How? I don't know. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm, I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. There must have been another broken knife. Oh! Oh! But wait, it's already broken. And it's green. That's literally the only other thing I can think of. But like, where would it be? It's already broken. I'm confused, but let's keep going. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's. Could there have been one? There is another one. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away, huh? Explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright? Yes. In that, in that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. Yep. I assume, then, that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. This is a picture of the awards ceremony. Uh, uh, ah! I, I don't know. I'm bad at that. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the... The broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding. That shit's broken. Hell yeah. That's... That's... A broken knife! And it's green, like... As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case. The knife the witness saw was all... was in all likelihood from this award. Okay. Neil Marshall was awarded the King of Prosecutors trophy that day. That made more sense to me. As an award, he was given this broken shield and knife. 
when he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in his in this dangerous situation. But that... that can't be. Oh, and why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors Award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I get it. But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? Edward says I'm the best. It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. What? What, Lana? Wait. Wait! I... I remember now! I remember everything! Oh my gosh. Can, I'm so sick of witnesses, like, changing their testimonies. How, how are we letting this slide? Witness. Mr. Edgeworth! What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture scribbled on the back? So this is the one that was actually documented. Like, this is in the records. It's, it wasn't in, uh, or like, uh, Gant didn't have this one. He had the one with the actual murder on it. Not this one. <clears throat> what is that? I knew it. This picture. I'm the one who drew. <clears throat> what? You, you drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. That's entirely what I was saying earlier, because that's what they said. I only know what, you know, they know. Kinda. I know some things they don't, but like... <clears throat> so what does this mean? Like, she drew it vertically. Like, if this is Xerox paper and it's an eight and a half by 11, you turn this shit upright. What, what the hell is that thing doing above them? Is, is that not the window? Like, the stained glass window? All this time, I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix up, and now the blue badger, of all things. This should be interesting. So what are you adding? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a new one. It's not just an addition. She's recalling evidence. When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and, and rushed towards the both of them. I can't keep track of what's true and what's not. I think I... I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then, there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. <laughs> I can't stand this. Like, this doesn't make sense to me. Not yet. It will, though. I'm acting like I'll never figure this out. I will. I'm Phoenix Wright. This is certainly most unusual. That's what I'm saying. Try impossible. The chief of detectives hadn't even designed him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Then what's that plush doll to, to the right of his desk? Yes, well, the defense. Stop. Ooh, shit. Stop. Please, don't pursue this any further. I've never seen that sprite of hers. Lana. What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Leave it at that. Chief Prosecutor Sky. Exclamation point. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Silence. The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. Seems we're finally getting to the core of that matter. Yeah, you can tell when 
Lana stands up and freaks out. <clears throat> when I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed towards both of them. I think I'd... I knocked away the man with the knife, which would be... At that moment... Um... Uh, who would that be? Bruh. Neil or Joe? If it was Joe, she knocked him away so that Neil could get the the upper hand on him. But I think it was Neil because eventually he was the one that got killed. <gasps> Just then there was another flash of lightning and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Dun dun. Dun 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 She's talking about this, bro. Oh! The mysterious blue badger was in fact this. I never made that connection. I just happened to look at the handles and I'm like, hey, that kind of looks like the, oh, God, I'm slow. Okay, it's cool, it's cool, let's keep, let's keep going. But that's, uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. But Mr. Wright, that, that doesn't look anything like the Blue Badger. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I've got... I've got to show them the correct... Fuck now, dude. What the f- What are you ta- Allow me to remind the defense its case hinges on the witness's drawing. If Mr. Wright can't match the shape the witness drew, we cannot accept his claim. I've got to find the right angle. Maybe I should rotate it vertically a bit more, or horizontally? Come on, Mr. Wright, you can do it! I- What the f- What are you talking about? Like- talking about like oh like this okay okay I'm so, like, how? How do you want it? Like, what is wrong about the angle? Yeah, so apparently this shit is dumb hard. It took me, like, 15 minutes of attempts to realize that something was up, right? So, I did look up a video on how to do it, and it's literally, like, supposed to be that. Right there. No? Go up a little bit. Oh, yep. Literally that. Maybe just like a few pixels shorter, but that's literally it. It, yeah, it, it, it took me a long time. I feel like this is way too damn specific, Capcom. Anyway, I'll skip to the point where I get it. Jesus Christ, bro, okay. 
Thank you. L let's move on. Well, is this a miracle or what? Look! No one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance, right? Yeah. You sure? Can this music stop playing? He said no, it can't be. Okay. Yes, order, order, order. The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? What do you mean? So, that blue badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. <laughs> no, no. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see. This changes everything. Indeed. Indeed? Very well then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? Uh... Whoa! Whoa! The location! That jar was in the back of the picture! Picture! Where was this picture taken? They weren't on Lana's side, they were on Chief Gant's side! Whoa! The location? Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. At a very specific angle, I might add, Mr. Wright. Yes, well, knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in a picture taken on the day of the crime. It's on a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. What are you talking about? But the body was found lying near Lana Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Yes, and it is these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see, the struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Sky's office. It happened on the other side of the room, in Chief Gant's office. They're the same room. Are you implying that the murderer moved the victim's body? From Damon Gant's office to Lana Skye's office? Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. Exactly. Exclamation point? If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. That there was a reason. Do you know what that reason was, Mr. Wright? No. <laughs> I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Hell yeah. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. Right? Which that case might, might have been dark. Let's say it's dark. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? That would have to have been... the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall? Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. If the man was knocked in the direction of the shelf of the shelf the jar was sitting on what would he have hit uh, uh. the suit of armor holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword yes i pointed that out too i knew that shit was shiny for a reason and since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife... Since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Neil Marshall wielding the King of Prosecutors trophy.
Okay. No. Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes. There is another possibility of what actually transpired in that room. Another possibility. Of course, the perpetrator would have no idea, but nevertheless. I... I don't know if I can go through with this. Mr. Wright, what's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I knew it. Did I say that? Did I theorize that Emma Sky killed Neil Marshall? You mean... Mr. Marshall died... because of... me? <laughs> no! Oh, was that trial former? Oh, she fainted, bro. I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life, and then proved so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented. This courtroom is wild. Lana, yeah, I was gonna say. What? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances... Joe Dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that, coming from you. Exclamation point. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Says you! Like... Tell me, do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? E evidence I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with the evidence. If we don't have evidence, shall we? Then we'll have to rely on testimony. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. <laughs> Is Joe Dark alive, bruh? We certainly can't get dead people to testify. This has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. <laughs> hmm. Touche, Miss Sky. Of course. That only leaves us with one possibility. There is still another possibility. Um, we can talk about how she is under Damon Gant's thumb. Yes? Yes? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean the possibility that the victim has left us a message. Ooh, on the vase? <laughs> for better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He did bleed out. He had 10 minutes. Yes? Died from blood loss in under 10 minutes. Weapon found in wound was missing tip. Yes, okay, okay. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. In one manner or another. That's... that's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. A message from the deceased. Does such a, does such a message exist? Does it, though? I, uh... Does that spell Emma? <laughs> at all? That wouldn't spell Emma, would it? I've got to think back to the court record. What? <laughs> this? Found a Chief Gant safe evidence for something, but what? Bears Emma Sky's prints. Did I even look at this? 
clear handprint can be seen on the other cloth. <laughs> I'll keep this information to myself. Gee, okay. I don't know. The real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind. Uh, um... You know what, I'm just gonna do that. It's, it is in the evidence. The message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer, a murderer, huh? Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. Tom Cruise. We're, 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 we're in. No matter how painful it may be. That's some hard attorney shit right there. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show us the piece of evidence that conveys the- Fuck, I forgot to save. Uh, I'm just gonna say the jar, bro. This is the message left by the deceased. And let me save just in case I forget. I know if I'm wrong, like, I have to go through it, but still. This is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. Shake my fucking head, dude. A message was left here on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Ooh, <laughs> it was Lana. That's crazy. Yes, but notice, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. I, now that, like, I look at it for a while, it does look like that's an M, doesn't it? Kinda? Yes, there is a line here, drawn in blood. So what you're saying is these dots were once lines. Yeah, I don't see how that last one could be an A, though. Or wait, is it the other one? No, it can't be that way, because that would spell Ewa. Whatever. Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious moments left to, to him to leave behind a message, huh? God, I would not be a good attorney. <laughs> the judge would be like, you don't seem so sure of yourself. All that stuttering you do. One that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. And the victim's message will up become apparent, hmm? N no Mr. Wright. What kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your honor. <sighs> Excuse me. I believe these blood stains will reveal us will reveal to us the answer. I've got to connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing the victim would have written, given the circumstances. His murderer's name. Wait. I'm so confused, like, what? Oh, I see. God, I'm stupid. Sick. Sick, bruh. That's so trash. Like, how did I not see that? I'm a terrible attorney. I thought I had this in the bag. I did not. The bag was nowhere to be found. It's a defense attorney's duty to provide their client's innocence. That's why, that's, 
That's why all I've been thinking about is saving a lot. Wait, does this even matter? Like, at this at that point, was Emma even, like, young enough to be prosecuted? How does this work? Is this, the, is this just, like, a matter of forgiveness or what? Where's Jake Marshall at? I want to do my Texas accent again. After all my efforts, I never would have thought it would turn out like this. I've been working with the, the, the suspect the entire time. <laughs> That's crazy. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. We're literally, like, solving the SL9 incident. We, we haven't even talked about Bruce Goodman yet. Trial Former is literally finding out who killed, like, Neil Marshall, and Trial Letter is finding out who killed Bruce Goodman. This episode is literally two cases in one. That's why it's the longest. I get it now. I see you, Capcom. This is actually kind of cool. Of all people, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. Can you please take the stand? This courtroom is silent. What do you know about that? Seaworthy. Can't say I didn't warn you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, it just changes the mood, man. Music is something else. Chief Gant, do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. Yeah, not because of the six previous ones. Or the five previous ones? This dude went on a killing spree and you're upset that he was, like, uh... What was the word? Executed? I would not be mad at that at all. I haven't seen that sprite before of him before. Huh? I believe you were the prosecutor in the case, were you not? Ah. Uh, yes, worthy. Because of you. An innocent. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You're telling me that these other five people don't matter. Like. <laughs> I know they weren't necessarily, like, for the case, but still, they're dead. Come on. An innocent man was sentenced to death. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. Is having a stroke? But Joe Dark really was a serial murder. That's undeniable. Uh... I'm afraid that's not important. Didn't you know? We weren't defend- we aren't defenders of justice. What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Exclamation point. Despite what any of you may say, this fact cannot be denied. Now this courtroom is booming. What's going on at the prosecutor's office? They might have sent an innocent man to his death. How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? Order, order. Everyone, order. I need a loud mic. What is this? Is that trial former? The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. To be continued. I'm about to finish this right now. Trial ladder, here I come. I got so upset early in this trial. Like, how how the hell are you about to say, how, how can she get away with saying, Oh, she stabbed him in the chest, or he stabbed him in the chest. And like, the autopsy clearly says that he was stabbed in the back. I'm con whatever. Okay, I figured it out, though, eventually. Right? Right? And also, like, that drawing is so crude and poor. Like, oh, the, the knife's tip is broken. What? I didn't know it was supposed to be a knife. If they had, like, little jagged lines across the end to represent the knife was, like, broken, I would have got it. But that was not the case, so I got it wrong. I'm just upset because I got it wrong. You know, it's not the game's fault. Now it's time to...
put this man Gant behind bars. Ace Attorney is really about putting putting away people in high power. That's all it is, and I love it. Von Karma, um, Red White, uh, the studio head, right? Gant. We're about to put away the president, <laughs> eventually. If you haven't seen, like, my previous videos for this episode, please go check those out. They're, like, fire. Uh, this is, like, my favorite episode of Ace Attorney so far, you know? And it's not even part of the vanilla game. Anyway, uh, along with this, I'm doing Control. I'm about to finish up this episode, so I'm gonna start Ace Attorney 2. I don't know the name of it, but it has... It's called Ace Attorney, you know, something. And I still have to pick a new series to do. I'm gonna start that the... around the same time I start Ace Attorney 2, so I'm gonna have to pick a new series eventually. And it's gonna be a surprise. I'm not gonna put up, like, a, a poll or nothing, because, for one, no one watches my videos, so it's, there's no point. But I'll find something. So, a new series, Control, and uh, Ace Attorney 2 coming up after this next video. On my Twitch, even though I haven't streamed in a while, I'm doing my grounded playthrough for The Last of Us, my 100% playthrough for the for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, as I plan to do 100% for the entire series, and Death Stranding. Uh, that's... Those are the plans on both channels, so if you want to see any of that stuff, please consider subscribing here on YouTube or following me over at Twitch with the link in the description. If you like the video and you want to see the finale of Episode 5 of Ace Attorney, please leave a thumbs up, comment on what you think of this game as a whole, or even this episode, or these characters, or whatever. Uh, share it with your friends, family, social media, strangers, I don't care. But thank you for watching, and bye. Have, have a good day. Bye.